people! Welcome, welcome! I hope you are doing super de duper today. It's Shandy, and you are in for a treat because I have a free crochet tutorial for you today. Check out this Chris shawl. This pattern, which was designed for you by Christina Smiley, is called Chris because it features little crisscross stitches throughout. This is an asymmetrical triangle. It just features basic crochet stitches. So even if you're a beginner, you can whip this one out. And for this version, we chose to do large color blocks. But if you want, you can do smaller stripes. You can do it all in a solid color. You can do a gradient fade, you speckle yarns, do whatever lights your heart up. For this pattern, we used three skeins of our beautiful shimmering and draping Oasis fingering weight yarn. You can use a different fingering weight yarn if you love. You'll just want to get something that has a nice drape and if you like the shine, get something with a little bit of a sheen in it. I'm gonna be showing you today just how easy it is to work this shawl. If you would love to follow along, you can download the written version of this pattern with all the details at expressionfiberarts.com. I will also put the direct link in the description below for you. Grab a hook, grab some yarn, and let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna start by chaining five. Okay, we're gonna start with a slip knot and chain five. Two three, four, and five. And then we will work row one. For row one, we're gonna do a double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook. So it's the second to last little chain there. And the three chains that we skipped do count as a double crochet. Then we're gonna work a double crochet into that final little chain there. So when you're counting the stitches on this row, you're gonna count this chain three as a double crochet, two, three, so you have three double crochets. Now for row number two. For row number two, you are just going to start with a chain three, which does count as a double crochet now and throughout your pattern. So you're gonna work a double crochet into this next double crochet, being sure to skip the first one, and that's gonna apply throughout the pattern because the chain three counts as the double crochet on top of that first double crochet. So work a double crochet into that next double crochet there. Then you're going to work a double crochet into the top of this chain three. Now how you do that is up to you. You can actually work into the top chain. I'm just kind of lazy and I like to work into the big loop. So that's up to you. So after this row, you should have one, two, three double crochets. On to row number three. We're gonna turn, of course, and we're gonna start row three with a chain three. Then again, always make sure you skip that very first double crochet, just pretend it's not there. And we're gonna work a double crochet into that next double crochet. And we are increasing this round. This is how we get a triangle shape. So we're actually gonna work two double crochets into that chain three at the end. And again, you can work in the top chain of that or just into the big loop like I'm doing here. And you should have one, two, three, four double crochets on that row. Okay, let's do row number four. Okay, for row four, go ahead and turn and work a chain three. And again, it always counts as your first double crochet. Then you're gonna skip your next double crochet. So by default, we're skipping that very first one. So we're gonna skip the next one and work a double crochet into that next stitch. Then we're gonna do a little crossed stitch. So we're gonna be working into this double crochet that we skipped. So go ahead and double crochet, reaching behind the double crochet you just worked, and work a double crochet into that skipped stitch. So you can see how it crisscrosses those little stitches. And then work a double crochet into that final chain three. So you should have one, two, three, four double crochets. Row number five is next. Row five is one, two, three. So three chains, which counts as a double crochet. Then you're gonna work a double crochet into each stitch across. So obviously skipping that very first one. It's the same on every row. So go ahead and work those crossed stitches as you come to them. And this is an increase row. So when you get to the end, go ahead and work two double crochets into that final chain three. So you should have one, two, three, four, five double crochets on this row. Now for row six. Okay, we're gonna turn and to work row six, you're gonna start with your chain three and you're gonna work a double crochet 
into that first double crochet. Again, always skipping that very first one. It just doesn't count, just pretend it's not there. Then you're going to skip the next double crochet and work a double crochet into the next stitch, which is over here. Then we're gonna do that fun little crisscross thing again. So we're gonna be working into this double crochet that we skipped. So go ahead and yarn over, reach behind the double crochet you just worked, and work into the double crochet you skipped and complete a double crochet. And that crisscrosses those stitches. Then complete that row by working a double crochet into the top of that chain three. So you should have one, two, three, four, five stitches. Let's go ahead and move on to row seven. Let's turn and work row seven. Again, same thing, start with the chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and work in each double crochet across, skipping that very first one, of course, until we get to the end. And I am using a thicker yarn than the pattern called for, just so you can more easily see what I'm doing, just in case you're wondering. So when you get to that final chain three, you're gonna go ahead and work two double crochets into that. And so for this row, you should have your initial chain three, which counts as one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. Now that we've completed that, we can do row eight. For row number eight, we're gonna turn and work a chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. Now we're gonna skip this double crochet and work into the next one. So work a double crochet into that next stitch. Now we're gonna work into the double crochet that we skipped. So same thing we've been doing. Reach behind that freshly made stitch and work into the double crochet that you skipped and make a double crochet. So you have little crisscross stitches. So let's do that again. Skip the next double crochet, work into the next one. Make a double crochet there. Now we're gonna work into the double crochet we just skipped. So reach behind your freshly made double crochet into the skipped one and work a double crochet. This is really easy and methodical once you get the hang of it. Then go ahead and finish off with a double crochet in that final chain three. So for this row, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. Row number nine is next. Row number nine is another increase row. So we're gonna start by chaining a four, two, three, four. Now this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So we're gonna skip this double crochet and we're going to double crochet into the next one. And then you're gonna chain one. Okay, we're gonna repeat that. Skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next one. It should be looking like this. And then when you get to the end, at that chain three, you're gonna work two double crochets. So one and two. So if you're counting the stitches here, you're gonna count your double crochet, which is the first chain threes, as one stitch. The final chain, which is counting as a chain one, as another stitch. This is another. Your chain one is another. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. It is time for row 10. For row number 10, we're gonna turn, of course, and start with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. All right, so we're gonna work a double crochet into this first double crochet, obviously always skipping that first one. So we're counting this as the first one. Then we're gonna skip this next double crochet and work a double crochet into that chain space. Now we're gonna do those crisscrossy things. So just like we've been doing, you're gonna work behind this stitch into that skipped double crochet. So just reach your hook behind, insert your hook into that skipped stitch and work a double crochet. So you should have little crisscross stitches like that. Now we're gonna skip the next stitch, which is this double crochet, and we're gonna work into this chain one here. If you'll remember, this was the chain four at the start of the previous row. 
which was a double crochet plus chain one equivalent. So double crochet into that chain one there. And the double crochet that we just skipped, we're gonna reach behind and work a double crochet into that. Just like we've been doing to create those fun little crisscross stitches. So you should have two of these little crisscross stitches. Then you're gonna finish by working a double crochet into that final chain three. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches for that row. Now we're on to row 11. Okay, we're gonna turn and again, start with a chain three. There's lots of repetition in this pattern. Always skipping that first double crochet. We're gonna work a double crochet into the next stitch and then all the way across. So this is a nice, easy row to do. And this is an increase row, which is gonna help to continue to create our triangle shape. So keep working all the way across your row. One more double crochet there. And when you reach the final chain three, we're gonna work two double crochets into that final chain three so that it increases our number of stitches and continues to make our triangle shape. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches on that row. All right, let's go ahead and do row 12. For row number 12, go ahead and turn and start with your chain three which counts as a double crochet. And we're actually going to skip the first double crochet. Again, ignore that very first one. Skip this one, work into the next one. Okay, so the double crochet that you skipped, we're going to reach behind. This is another one of those crisscrossy rows. And we're gonna double crochet into that. So you're seeing a lot of repetition here. Very easy to memorize. Okay, go ahead and skip the next double crochet, which is here. Hop on over and double crochet into that next one. And I bet you can guess what we do next. We're gonna reach behind and double crochet into that stitch that we skipped. It looks so cool. I like those little twisty stitches. And let's do it again. Skip the next one, double crochet into the next one. And one more time for this row, reach behind and double crochet into that stitch that you skipped. Then we're gonna go ahead and finish off, you guessed it, with a double crochet into that final chain three. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches for that row. Now for row 13. For lucky row number 13, we are gonna turn and we are gonna start with a chain of four, two, three, Four, so that counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. So as always, skip the very first stitch, just ignore it. We're actually gonna skip the next double crochet as well and work a double crochet into the next one. Then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna skip the next double crochet. So skip that one and we're gonna work a double crochet into the next stitch. And repeat that again. And if your row is longer, you're gonna be working obviously longer and longer, longer rows. So chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. And this is another increase row. So we're gonna work two double crochets into that final stitch there, that final chain three. And you should have one, two, three, four, because we count the chain one, five, six, because we're counting the chain one as a stitch, seven, count that chain one, eight, and then those first three chains count as a double crochet, so nine. So you should have nine stitches there. So this is the beginning of your shawl. You can see it's already forming a triangle shape, and it's gonna get wider and wider and wider as you go along. I told you it was super easy. So then all you do moving forward is repeat rows 10 through 13 over and over and over and over and over, changing colors as you wish. Alrighty, lovely, I hope that you have a marvelous day. Know that today is a gift and that no matter what happens, you can handle it because you are strong and amazing. All right, I'm gonna see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.